Hi, my name is Ayushi Jain. I'm an independent ecologist and uh, conservationist. Ever since I've been interested in freshwater turtles, Cantor's giant softshell turtle particularly fascinates me, mainly because of how unique it is and how nobody knows about it. It's an evolutionarily unique and globally endangered turtle. And in 2019, I came to Kerala and we reported the first ever population from Chandragiri River in Kasargod. The Canto softshell turtle is one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world. It is really unique because it can also survive in the asherine and marine habitats. They spent majority of the life buried under the sand on the riverbed. It is very rare to see them on the surface. Even though I've spent two years looking for them, I've only seen it twice in the wild so far. We also realized that because of the behavior of the species, ecological surveys alone are not enough to find about the turtle, to understand the turtle. And that is why we have incorporated the importance of local communities, the importance of local ecological knowledge. And we have tried to make an alert network through which we can gather more information about the turtle. Kidar dikha? Chab ye wala WhatsApp number hi hai, is pe aap send kariye mujhe video. I just got the report saying that uh, they have seen the turtle last night and they got some videos of it and they are going to send me the videos on WhatsApp now. The Chandragiri River is very close to the sea. The people who live here use the river for drinking water and also irrigating their agricultural fields. To make sure that the salt water and fresh water don't mix, they have built a regulator. The stored fresh water is important for the livelihood of the people living here, but it has affected the survival of the Cantor's giant softshell turtle. We are going to show you where the species nested last year. In the last couple of weeks, the water level has increased and we are just going to see if we can find the nest in this situation. And right now it's all underwater. Last time we saw the nesting there, but right now the water level is too high to even go there. We have reached a point where to think about the species future, we're not thinking about the community's future because the community is depending directly on this water. But at the same time, it's directly impacting the crucial and the critical habitat that is available to the species. कहाँ पे एग्जैक्टली क्या लोकेशन है हाँ जी आज आज इट दिस इज पालापुवल लाइक द हाउ दे सेंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंडिविजुअल दैट हैज बीन फाउंड आई आई हैव कॉल्ड द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट एंड दे आर रीचिंग देयर एस वेल पीपल हैव फाउंड इट राइट ऑन द एज ऑफ दैट स्मॉल wall that you can see so uh, we think that it was trying to cross and it was going trying to go towards the fresh water habitat because now they're releasing water so it was probably trying to cross the dam and it uh, probably sustained the injury on the head and it died immediately for the last two days we have been trying to spot an individual and we have been doing surveys now we did and we found a dead one uh, which is rather sad We are taking it to a hospital or a lab, and we'll do a post mortem and see what the cause of the death probably is. We are currently on the Payasini River. This is a very important stretch of the river because there have been multiple sightings from here. There have been bycatch reports from here. Right now, I'm going to meet Abdullah. Uh, he says that he has found a nest, and we'll go and check it out right now. Is there? Eh? Acha acha. Khol ke dekhte hain. Khol. Ha ha. We are trying to open the nest carefully, and it's better that one person do it. From the looks of it, it looks very small. It generally, it will be like much deeper. So we are assuming that this nest is small, and there will not be as many eggs. We have checked the nest, and we found the first nest of the season. And hopefully, we'll be able to save it for the ne next two to three months until it hatches. Look at these small hatchlings. We have had about 23 hatchlings from the nest that the forest department and the rapid response team found two days back. And today we are releasing these little hatchlings. 
back to the natural habitat.